Four masculine woman habits that you need to stop immediately. But first, like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. Four masculine habits, masculine woman habits that you need to stop immediately. Number one, stop going around looking like you're mad all the time. As a feminine woman, you want to be warm and inviting and approachable. And you can't be that way and receive that kind of treatment from people if you're walking around mean mugging. As a woman, and I spoke about this in previous videos, we need to be aware of how we carry ourselves as women. You don't want to go around with a snarl on your face. You don't want to constantly be rolling your eyes and, you know, giving people dirty looks. It's not becoming of a woman. Unless something happens to you, there's no reason for you to be looking at someone as if you are ready to fight or if you're threatening them or trying to intimidate them in some way. As a feminine woman, your confidence level should be so high that you don't feel the need to put up a defense mechanism such as mean mugging and looking intimidating to other people, number one. Number two, and this is more of a relational type of habit, when you are in the presence of men, stop acting like you don't need their muscle. Stop acting like you don't need their masculinity. What do I mean by that? If a man offers to help you, let them help you. As a feminine woman, you should always want to preserve your body. And in doing so, you authorize and allow the help of a man. They're built to do hard things. They're built to carry heavy things. Stop feeling like you're doing too much if you ask a man or allow a man to carry your groceries or to get something off a high shelf for you or to mow your grass or to do any other labor intensive type of activity. As a feminine woman, you should be flattered that a man is even offering that to you. But when a woman is more in her masculine, it makes her feel some type of way to have a man offer to do something for her. She almost feels like he's threatening her manhood. And as a woman, you don't have manhood. So as a woman, you have to get accustomed to allowing people, specifically men, to help you. Don't look at it as a hit at your ego, as if somebody's saying you can't do for yourself. And I know a lot of women have this anything they can do, I can do better mindset. And as true as that may be, if it's something labor intensive, why would you not want the help of a masculine man? So number two, stop acting like you don't need help from a masculine man and let him use his muscle when you're in his presence. All right. Number two. Number three. Stop saying you don't like other women. Masculine women tend to say things like, oh, I can't stand women or I don't mess with girls. No, I can't do females. That's the saying. I can't do females. As feminine women, while we do have wisdom and we understand that every woman is not going to be for you, we are very much girls, girls. And we do want to form a sisterhood and a bond with other women. At the least, we do encourage and get inspired by other women. But women who are insecure and more so in their masculine energy, they don't really like other women. They easily feel threatened by other women. If they see another woman smiling, if they see her happy, if they see her, you know, dressing in, you know, dresses and she's being more girly in nature, masculine women don't like that. So if you say things like, I don't do females, I don't like women, I can't stand women, these kind of things, that's a very masculine woman type of habit, habit to have. And what it's saying is that you're insecure to the point that you can't stand being around your own people, women. That's not a trait of a feminine woman. Number three. Number four, you are constantly complaining about everything and nothing is ever right. That is a very masculine way to be. A woman who is more gracious, more feminine, more elegant, she does not look for issues where there are no issues. If you have a valid complaint, okay, that makes sense. But if you're a woman who is just absolutely never satisfied and you can't see the good in anything, 
that is not only a masculine way to be because oh, I'm not saying men are miserable, but that's just a miserable way to be. As a feminine woman, you want to take joy in even the little things. And I used to be that way where I would complain about every little thing, like very little could satisfy me. And I realized that that's really no way to live as a woman. You have to take joy in the little things. If you can't take joy in the little things, when you do get those so-called big things, you will not be able to enjoy them. So as a feminine woman, stop complaining so much and enjoy what you have. Enjoy the little things. Enjoy the moment. Masculine women are always thinking so far into the future. They're worried about this, worried about that. Everything has to be so strict, so straight line and arrow. And as feminine women, we do not think that way. We enjoy the moment. Number four, I believe. And then number five, I know I said four, but I'm going to give you a bonus one here. When it comes to your relationships, stop trying to be in control of everything. That is a very masculine woman habit to have if you feel like you need to be in control of everything. Allow the man you're with to actually have some carte blanche over what you all are able to do. Stop feeling like you have to dictate his every move and everything has to be your way. As a feminine woman, we don't desire control, we desire comfort. And if the person we're with is able to provide that, we don't feel like we need to control every situation. But a woman who is not yet connected to her femininity, she feels like she has to constantly be in control of everything in her relationship. She's almost like the man in her relationship. She can't allow her spouse or her boyfriend or her fiance to think for himself. She can't allow him to make his own moves. She feels like everything has to be orchestrated by her. Like nobody can do it as good as her. And as feminine women, we leave room for our men to make mistakes because we understand that, first of all, they're not our children. Number two, it's not attractive. And when you're talking about that attractiveness and that passion factor in a relationship, nothing kills passion and desire than a woman being like a mother to her husband or to her man. That's almost like a mother-son type of relationship. As a feminine woman, you want to keep things spicy in your relationship. You can't be mothering your man. You can't be in control of everything. So learn how to relinquish control and allow him to lead. There's something beautiful about being a woman that is able to be led. And I know in this modern time, that's probably demeaning language to some women saying, oh, be led like I'm a dog or something. No. Be led like you are that feminine woman who is at ease within herself, at peace within herself, and she trusts the judgment of the man that she's with. And if you're with somebody and you don't trust their judgment, you need to rethink your relationship. But as a feminine woman in general, we have no problem following the lead of our husband's fiance's boyfriend, okay? So that was five masculine woman habits that you absolutely need to let go of in order to be more feminine in your everyday life. All right. Like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. If you watch this until the very end, hit that high hill emoji. I absolutely appreciate you. Take care.